Hey, what's up, everybody? BDO44 coming at you another video. All right, so to pick up where I left off before I was so rudely interrupted by my phone cutting off, I was just wondering if Web Banyama is going to be a fun player to watch because uh, judging by a small sample size, I was not very excited watching either one of those games. Now, granted, the second one I didn't watch as intently as I watched the first, but I was kind of bored. Just bored. I ain't going to lie. And it wasn't necessarily his fault. It was just the style of play I think they were running. Maybe it was the two teams. It, it just wasn't getting going for me. And so I'm going to be looking for him to be, um, you know, just continue to progress as a player. You don't have to be a showstopper. You don't have to entertain. But are we entering into a situation where we're going to be bored to death by spur teams again? No. That's not what we want. But honestly, Webanyama is an exciting player. They're just going to have to not – run him as a traditional center all the damn time put the ball in his hands and let him create let him use his handles to to, to break people down and, and kind of play the perimeter a bit more than they've allowed him to in the summer league and i'm pretty sure he'll he'll showcase himself in a way that allows for that um but i just i just worry that they're going to try to make him a center like just all the time doing center things in the paint and all that kind of stuff uh when his game is more so a face-up game so I'm pretty sure they'll figure that out. He'll figure him. He'll figure himself out as he grows as a player, and none of this will matter. But for right now, it just seems to me he's doing a little too much traditional, boring stuff. Like it's almost like he's they got him running the Evan Mobley style out there or something. So I don't know. Maybe that's just my perception of it. But um, he's he's getting more comfortable. He's becoming more productive out there. His jump shot has fallen a little better in that second game. So just like every other rookie. The more summer league games they play, the more comfortable they play, uh, they become. And from there, you start seeing them start to relax and then really start to put a, put forth a show. And usually in year two in the summer league, they really go crazy. I don't expect Wimbanyama to play in the summer league next year unless something goes completely wrong. But uh, all in all, that's that's usually how that goes. So this was just game two, his second game. And I'm sure he'll pick it up and his team will ultimately pick it up. And... Um, that's pretty much all I was trying to say. <laughs> I literally just wanted to complete that statement because my phone has been getting cut off as well. And for those of you who were wondering how that video started, um, I uploaded a Laker video, or at least I thought I did, while I was uploading my um, therapy session. And that was supposed to be a conclusion to that because that video got cut off. So it did not necessarily fully upload and i did not necessarily keep it <laughs> so it ended up getting erased before it fully uploaded and i thought it had already uploaded so that is what happened to that video it is lost you will never actually know what the hell i was talking about but essentially hopefully i made up enough of it at the beginning of the video so that you can get a gist of what it is i was trying to say but that whole laker video is gone i thought it was uploaded so that's the struggle of having very little uh, uh, space on your phone in regards to your download. So that's really what it is. I just got to do a better job of cleaning up that phone and or going on live so that I have a limited, unlimited time to speak to y'all. So that's really what it comes down to, man. My name is BDF44. I thank you all for watching. I'm out.